up, what's up, what's going on, guys? It's your host, Invisible DFS. Let's talk Draft Kings and Pendul NBA DFS for February the 22nd, 2020. Let's go ahead and jump to the night before. The night before is where I go ahead and check to see how my players did for the night before. So basically, that's segment, segment one. All right, so for the night before, I had ball. Uh, the game... He, ball actually played his usual minutes but in the fourth quarter he didn't really have to try hard or try to do anything because they were winning by a lot of points so he was there it's basically like he wasn't there so he ended up finishing 32.3 uh with a 5.2 x uh, i was hoping for a 6 x but uh and no complaint there 32.3 uh point guard tonight uh it really wasn't at 32.3, you could still end up finish first with uh, him in your lineup, all right? And then you have uh, McCallum, basically was the most popular player of the slate, 6.4x, 44.2. Carmelo, uh, both, so those three first guys was in the same game. And like I told you, Carmelo was in foul trouble in the first half. Uh, and also didn't have to play much in the fourth quarter because of the blowout. Same goal with McCallum, so... Those guys end up go sit early for that reason, but still end up finish with over 6.4x, both of them. So bonus uh, was cheap in uh, FD compared to DK, finish with 6.11x. And then Jokic, um, how should I explain that? Had 31 in the first half and then a great third quarter and did nothing in the fourth quarter. So <laughs> end up uh, with 25. 13x all right so let's go to dk simons uh, 5.64x uh once we find out he wasn't starting so a lot of people wasn't feeling the same about him so i ended up leaving him in my lineups but you know hey he was a cheap player 2.5 compared to fd now if you play him in fd then that's really a bad play there and my columns even better in fd uh 50 you know those three points count for more points so and the turnover for less so that's a 7.58x return compared to a uh, 6.4 in fd uh jason tatum um jason uh 52.75 6.76x that was a great return jim johnson had a great third quarter foul trouble uh i still end up with 26.09x the thing is we find out he wasn't starting, and the guy that starting was Nas, Nas Reed, and he did really, really great. And then you have uh, Joe Cage, uh, 52.75, 5.29x. Right, uh, so let's jump to segment two. Segment two is basically uh, where we're going to check the price differences, all right? So... Uh, for segment two guys uh let's go ahead and jump to it so segment two is where i give you five daily players that have a price differences of 1k or more unless of course if they have uh, if i cannot find those five players so let's go ahead and do that right now uh, i don't know why this one says pro all right so Porzengis uh, is 9k on FD, 8k in DK, 1k difference. Jom uh, 9.6k in uh, FD, 8.5k in DK, 1.1k difference. Actually, I like Jom. Uh, I didn't like him uh, last night, but I definitely gonna like him for two days late. So Jom, uh, I can see, if, especially if Love or uh, Thompson uh, gonna sit which i'm hoping at 8.5k would be a great play all right and uh Middleton 7k uh 8.1k in dk and this guy actually been really really good much better getting better every year so 1.1k difference and then bonson hey those guys that doesn't mean i like them guys it's just finding five guys that have the uh what i want which is a 1k or more or if not then i will find the next highest one all right so bonson 1.1k difference but that doesn't mean i like him later i like him both sides regardless of the price 7k six actually it's he is uh 6k why wow, i have 6.8 that doesn't make sense all right guys so yeah later price definitely got it wrong here uh it's uh actually let's see right here 
level is 6.2k in fd and 7k in dk all right so a 0.8k difference so in dk is more expensive so you have players like uh, Levert, Bronson, and uh, Melaton are more expensive in DK. And then players like Jom and Pozenkis are more expensive in FD. So those are my five players. So let's jump to the next segment, which is the cheap list. The cheap list is where I'm going to give you guys five players from both sides that I like that are on the 5K. So those players are Dragic. Against Cleveland, one of the worst team to defend point guard, so that's why I like Dragic. Basically, Dragic is the reason the Heat lost last game. If you see that turnovers, basically that that was his fault there, because it was a tie game, and then that basically put ATL up two games. So I can see him bounce back and have a nice game here. Heard it, I like heard it against uh, Dallas. I can see that that game to me is gonna be a shootout, so I can see him go for twenty five plus at that cheap price. All right, and quarter 4.6k. Uh, quarter was in power trouble. First quarter they didn't do anything much, basically, and then set, you know, pick it up in the second half, and then end up with 26. But could have been more if he wasn't for foul trouble. But he is definitely a player that it is looking to play a lot, and it looks like he gonna be the player they're gonna play over uh, Jones Jr. Uh, Jerich, even at 5k, I'm looking forward to playing a lot. Most people are probably not going to play him because of the team he's playing against, but definitely I'm going to play him. They're going to need him to guard uh, midi in that game and hopefully play some point guard duty there. All right, and then Washington 4.8k, uh, like him against Brooklyn at that price. Brooklyn is one of the worst teams against. Uh, Front court players, so Washington. The fact that he most likely gonna be playing 30 plus minutes, so definitely like him. Uh, and then for DK, uh, Quade. I already talked about Quade, I already talked about Jerich Zeller for the same reason. I like uh, Washington. The only thing is, Zeller look like he might not play 30 minutes, that could be a problem. So, hopefully, he see 30 minutes against one of the worst front court, when especially the starting center for Brooklyn. But I mean, playing against uh, Allen, that would be something Zeller would love to, but DeAndre Jordan has been playing more minutes lately, so Zeller against Jordan, that's something else. Sadowinski, 4.9K on the 5K, the mids are going to be there. Uh, the Bulls lost another player that's doubtful, so definitely Sadowinski is a guy that I'm looking to play. And Robinson, uh, he play. He has been playing a lot of minutes and play 33 minutes. He's a shooter. Uh, the thing is, the shots are a bit falling. If they're not, then it could be a problem. But as he actually watched the game last game, they hit his my team, and as he got some moves, he drove to the basket and did pretty good. So hopefully, uh, at 4.5k, he can return the 30 plus here. So now that we are here, it's time to. Check out my five plays, what I call the main ingredient of the show, uh, which is basically the last segment. And also, so let's go ahead and jump to it. Let's start with FD. I already got it set up, so let's jump to FD right now. So for FD, guys, here's the thing. I'm going to show you some other players, but I want to talk about that. So let's check the point guard real quick, all right? So the point guard, <laughs> you have Westbrook, you have Trey Young, you have Luca. You have Siemens will be back. So those four players, all right? What I want to say about them, you have two young guns against Luca. We all know they got swapped for each other, basically. And you have Westbrook going against Shooter in uh, the 9 p.m. game. I believe that's the last game of the night. Yeah, definitely the last game of the night. And I don't mind him at all. Uh, actually, I was thinking of using him as my star, but I switch. Uh, then again, I mean in DK. So by the time... You guys see DK, maybe I will switch back to him. But for right now, I don't have him. But I definitely like him in both sides. All right. And Trey Young and Luca, I like both of them. Luca with that cheap price against Trey Young, both of them are try to show up. But the problem is, if you look at the 5K players, guys, look at that. Thomas Satowinski, 5.4. Terry Rose, 5.3. Dragic, 4.9. All right. There are a lot of those players, and you can even go to Rubio and Mark Conley. All those guys are guys 
I mean, look at the matchup for Matt Conley. Could have some he love still in this game, and we're gonna need to score. And Rubio against the same thing with uh, with going against the Bulls. So we're gonna make some choices. So that's why what I did is give you guys a lot of cheap mid plays, 5K, and on the and leave you guys with a lot of salaries. Uh, to do whatever you guys want the only thing is i have to shoot in guard so you guys won't be able to use all if you guys use all my players unless you decide to not to use jay rich or kevin Herder. but i'll leave you guys with the center position the power forward small forward and the point guard all right so let's jump to it terry was here. the price is too good man against brooklyn uh, i can see him bounce by both point guard did bad last game for uh I call them both point guard, but I'm talking about Wozier and uh, Grant. All right, for Charlotte last game. Sh uh, so Wozier 5.2k just too cheap. I wish 30. So hopefully against Brooklyn, he can go for 35 plus here at that point. And he is capable of doing that. Uh, the thing about it, the minutes are there. So it's not because he hasn't seen minutes or anything like that. As you can see, 32 minutes last game. So, you know, he was uh, before the outside game. He didn't play one game. So... Hopefully he bounce back here and have a great game. It's been a while since you see since January 20, 30th. That was the last time he went for 30 fantasy plus points here. So hopefully he can bounce back to that. And uh, Jerich, I like Jerich. I'm using him as a core play tomorrow. Most people are not gonna do that because of the matchup and the fact that uh, he's a uh, Point guard Ben Simmons is gonna be back, but regardless, I like Jay Rich. So I just need him, you know, when you're in big, sometimes it just look like he doesn't want to do anything. I need him to step up and do his thing because the guys can be a playmaker. And then Herder, who you see the minutes he played last game 40 minutes, and that wasn't even did the game go to overtime? No, he didn't go to overtime, did it? No, he didn't go to OT, and he still ended up playing in 40 minutes. Uh, 29 fantasy point could have been better, but uh, they were playing the heat. So hopefully uh, against Dallas, that would be a better matchup. And he can, if he played that 40 minutes, I expect him to score at least 30 fantasy points here. All right, and then uh, so basically, Herda is my cheap play here, and my second, my third core play is Tagian. Tagian is probably one play I'm gonna go 100% on, and it's not because I'm chasing. So let me put that. <laughs> out right now it's not because i'm chasing it's because one the, the phoenix but second he should see a lot of minutes because he is basically the big man here garford probably gonna get a start let me see garford could get his start here last game he didn't he play about 16 minutes so he might get his start here uh, because uh let's go to bar for real quick so Lukonet right now, Enko, basically, he's going to be out. He's doubtful right now. I don't see him playing tomorrow. So he only played 14 minutes. So I was wondering why he did so bad, but that's one of the reasons. So Tad Young, um, definitely like him. Uh, I'm not saying he's going to do what he did last game, but the minutes are guaranteed. So definitely like him. Hopefully, he can get us 30 plus here. So Tad Young probably going to be my most popular play as far as me. And for my star, guys, against... Uh, Embed against the whole footy team. I'm going with Giannis. That's probably one of the games where we're gonna see him play 30 plus minutes here. And if that's the case, you know what this guy can do. So I have to play him, especially I don't have to play him in ZK, but in FD, I feel like that's a guy you're gonna need to have, especially when you're looking at this small court position here. All right, so why wouldn't you wanna have him? So to me, as far as all the stars, when it's come for, uh, FD he is the main player here, not anybody else. So that's why I like him. But I still left you guys with enough money to play another star in that lineup. All right, so let's go ahead and jump to DK and check out my five players. DK is gonna look even different to you guys. So for DK, I'm going with Conley here. His price is cheaper than FD against Houston. I like him. Uh, should be back because they say he was resting so if that's not the case if we are we getting the news that he's not going to play then i will come back here and give you guys another player all right so uh jay rich is my cheap player so conley tad young 
who's here are my core players and then uh, hating i'm going to hate me as my star guys because the boost has no front court so even though uh when you go to center here even though uh where is it six eight point five german against miami might actually be a good play tomorrow because if those other point court play sit down for Cleveland. I since it's a back to back, I can see Drummond have a great game. But I'm going to fit in you and hope I see him go for 50 here. I know that was his first game back, but he had the whole week basically a week to sit down with that ankle problem. So he should be good to go and should be able to play back to back. So I'm going with him here. Um, so that's what happened. So Hayton definitely a guy I'm looking to play. Um, for Zengis, I don't know if they're playing in back to back yet, so we'll, we'll find out for sure uh, later tomorrow. But I think he will be playing. So, and then uh, I will talk about Young, I will talk about Wozi, I will talk about Jay Rich, and I will talk about Conley. So there's no need to say anymore. Uh, like I said, Young in both sides is one of my favorite play. I'm looking forward to playing a lot. And Hayton, I'm going with him as my style. It might not be a popular play. But it will be a popular play for me. Alright guys, that's basically it. I appreciate you guys. Good luck. And I hope you guys and someone please subscribe to the channel on YouTube. And um, also my Discord channel which is go by the same name. Invisible DFS. Alright, I appreciate you guys. Drop a like in this video. I'm out.